Hi, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to visualize a multi-select question from ComCare. It's a little tricky, um, but I think you'll be able to follow along. So let's, let's jump right into it. The first step is to go to your data Power BI Tableau integration. And then we are going to enable the expand checkbox, multi-select checkbox. Um, so we'll proceed down to the, and then this expand checkbox question is super important. So go ahead and check that. What it does, it turns this multi-select question, B6, from a single column, B6, with each choice separated by a space. So to a separate column, by checking the box, it's separated to a separate column for each choice with a one and a null value for each choice selected. So this is B6. You see our rows. Solicited compared to a single column with each choice separated by a space. So now we've um, checked the box for expanding multi select. Um, we're going to go ahead and import it into Power BI and then I'll show you how to um, pivot the data so that we can actually visualize it um, in Power BI. All right, now that we've imported the data into Power BI, um, you'll notice that since we expanded the checkbox, all the questions in the checkbox and all the choices are now each individual column. Um, so like this one, this one, and this one. So what we're going to do is go ahead and make a copy of the query, and then we'll do some uh, transformations there. So select transform data. And then we're just going to say duplicate. And then we're going to call this B6 because um, we are going to transform the all the choices within B6 from wide to long. All right, we select, we name that. And then what we're gonna do is actually remove everything that we don't need. So let's just expand this a little bit more. Um, essentially, I, need, I don't need anything except the question we are interested in um, visualizing. So we know that's B6. So I'm gonna hold on Shift and select and then Remove columns. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Um, and then B6, so B5, we don't need. However, we do need this form ID because we are going to use the form ID to link it with the original query. And that will make sense once we start um, doing it. So go ahead and remove everything but form ID. And we know that the form ID is the same, so we can remove number. And then what we're gonna also do is doing a little cleanup um, because this is or the same question repeated and then you'll notice that, let's see, it's actually uh, separated by this vertical uh, bar. So what I'm gonna do is actually just for ease of understanding, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll explain that in a little bit. Um, all right, let's just uh, so I'm just gonna speed this up now. All right, now that we've um, renamed it all, so that's B6 and then the choice. Um, as we remember that ComCare, the way we've, since now that we've expanded the checkbox, 
all the ones that were selected in the in the checkbox is now a one and a null value if they did not select it. Um, so that's something to keep in mind right now. So this extra column we can remove because there's actually nothing in there. So I'm going to remove that um, and go ahead in there. And we're going to keep ultra or other, this, the specify other. So now's the tricky part. What we're going to do is essentially uh, select all the ones we want, wide, pivot it, and then now every uh, response from Comcare will have a repeat row for every um, choice. And that might make more sense once we start jumping right in. So what you're going to do is select the questions you want, B6, and then all the way to Ninguna, Sh hold on shift. Um, and then what we're going to do is do this transform and then select unpivot column, transform, unpivot column. And what that does is now you'll see the same, it used to be one single row with all the columns. Now they're stacked on top of each other. So all the choices are here. And then it'll repeat again for each uh, response or record from Comcare. All right. So what we're going to do now is do some, we have to turn some values and change the, the type, the data type. So here, we will move that to a whole number. And then you'll see null values in one. So we're going to um, replace transform replace values uh, now we replace now to zero because we're going to run calculations on that now that we've gone ahead and replaced the null values with zero um, we can actually run some calculations so um, we're going to select close and apply And then you'll notice that we have a B6 as well as a um, the query itself. Uh, B6 being a duplicate of query one, but then with the data of question B6 pivoted. That'll be it'll make a little more sense. But as you can see, if we sort by each record, um, we get all the option, all what was in the columns. And then what would, so this means they were not selected and the one meaning that was um, selected, et cetera. So that's repeating for every uh, record from Comcare. So before we do anything, what we actually need to do is build a relationship between these two. Um, so we double click that, select B6, form ID to form ID of query one, many to one because there are multiple repeats for form ID. And then we do security cross filter direction is both apply security and then we will get this. And now we can go ahead and actually build this visual. So um, what we have here is a cluster column chart. And then we'll use the value from our pivoted data into the value. And this is not very useful, so what we want to do is have each of the columns be the different choices. So that would be, if we were following along, it would be the attribute um, of the B6 because they are repeating every, however many choices there are. So let's go ahead and drop attribute into the, is it the, the legend? Oh, well, if we put it in the axis, we could actually do that. And there you go. Um, that is how you actually visualize a single um, question that is actually multi-select, and then that's turning it from multiple columns into one column. And then you, since they link by form ID, we can actually you know, um, use a filter since the the relationship allows you to say, let's just say filter by department. So that way we can say in Guatemala, and in Huawei Tenango, um, it will be matching accordingly. So it actually filters across the two. 
All right, I hope that helps. Here's a little bonus uh, clip. So what we can do is actually create a drop-down list for each one of these questions and then build a relationship. Um, so let's take a look at what that looks like and then um, hopefully it will actually help you understand uh, data relationships. So we're going to go back into the transform data. So what we're going to do is duplicate B6 again, but that's because I want to get just the unique attributes. So um, let's duplicate. And then I will remove these, remove these columns. And here I'm going to just remove the duplicates. Then I'm going to copy this table and then I'm going to select enter data. And this is what this data that I'm going to enter is going to drive my, my drop down menu. So I'm going to use the questions from Comcare here, the B6, the labels to, to copy and paste into that. So, um, Since these are the coded values, um, we want the label. So I'll go ahead and um, copy that in. And what we're going to do is speed up time now. All right. Uh, now that I've copied that in, I'm going to label those B6 label. And there should be a new table that pops up. And we don't really need this B2 duplicate that I just made to copy this. That was just a, a reference file. Uh, yes, delete. And then close and apply. So You will notice that the B6 label, the attribute, actually matches the actual B6 attribute. So we'll use this to create a relationship, and that way you can actually see what the actual question was. Um, so we'll go ahead and, oh, it's already done it for you, um, because Power BI is pretty smart, but make sure uh, B6 is many to one. Um, so. We will, oh, can we? Make this a both. And then, no, uh, I want to call this. All right, so what this means is that we're going to use this label to filter the visual and then filters the, the larger data set. So here we have this another filter, and then we're going to use the label to actually filter the And now you can even make this a, a drop down. So if you want to see one at a time, uh, we can say a coil, and then we'll just show you this one. And then here, we can maybe go with data label. So as you notice, this is all the question labels, but this is the coded. So we're using relationships to manage that. 
And that way you can actually get a sense of what these questions are. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, that's it for the bonus material. And that's how you visualize a multi-select question from ComCare within Power BI in one single visual. Hopefully you've learned a thing or two, especially on how to use relationships as well as a bonus material. Um, let me know if you have any questions and um, good luck.